A new Victorinox Spartan Swiss Army knife is adapted for use in the woods. A promotional logo is removed from the scale. The Spartan is modified with a ferrocerium fire starter rod, compass, and tinder lanyard. With the exception of the ferrocerium fire rod, all of the materials used for this makeover might be found in your home or locally. No power tools are used. And finally, we use basic STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. New promotional Swiss Army knives can often be found for little or no cost sometimes. This is a new Spartan knife with sapphire or transparent blue scales having a promotional logo. The logo can often be removed. I'm starting the removal process by using some 500 grit wet dry sandpaper. Holding the knife flat against the paper, several passes are made and the scale is examined. It's really important to shave as little as material as possible as the scales are hollow and the Victorinox stamp can also be damaged. Once the promotional logo is nearly removed, a less aggressive grit, here 1200, is used to remove scratches caused by the 500 grit paper. After several passes, the scale is examined and appears much smoother. Switching to a less abrasive automotive rubbing compound will remove the fine scratches resulting in a light haze. Next, an automotive polishing compound is used to completely restore the luster. Finally, washing in soapy water reveals a new spartan. We tend to think of the vernier caliper as a modern linear measurement instrument. It was, however, invented in 1631 by the French mathematician Pierre Vernier. It uses mechanical interpolation to improve measurement accuracy by using fixed and sliding scales. A sliding scale parallels the main scale and allows measurements to be made to a fraction of a division on the main scale. The vernier caliper can answer the question of how much material was removed from the scale. The width of the knife measured before removing the logo shows that the zero aligns with the 1.4 below it. Therefore, the width of the knife is 1.4 centimeters or 14 millimeters. After shaving the logo, the zero no longer aligns with the 1.4. This is read as 1.3 plus some fractional amount. Look at the top scale and find where one of the vertical markers aligns with the scale below it. The line corresponding to 9 aligns with the line below. So this is read as 1.39 centimeters or 13.9 millimeters. Therefore, only one-tenth of a millimeter of material was shaved from the scale. This is important because we don't want to weaken the scale. This knife holds a straight pin. How about making it into a compass? Most metals are not magnetic. Some common exceptions are iron, nickel, and cobalt. The straight pin containing iron has atoms in random alignment to one another, causing their magnetic fields to cancel each other out. Exposing the straight pin to a strong magnetic field causes the iron atoms to align. I rub the magnet against the pin five to 10 times, always rubbing in the same direction. The needle is now magnetized. A rare earth magnet or even a flat refrigerator magnet can be used. Let's test it. I place the magnetized straight pin in a tiny leaf, allowing it to float in the water. Check the north-south alignment of the straight pin with a compass. The magnetized straight pin has aligned itself with Earth's magnetic poles. These magnetic poles are not the same as Earth's rotational axis. This difference, along with variations in the Earth's magnetic field, is called a declination. A bonus question. If we did not have the compass, how might we find north and south at night. Here's a hint to a possible solution. In the northern hemisphere, find Polaris to identify north. In the southern hemisphere, find the southern cross to begin the process of finding south. Ferrocerium is an alloy composed of iron and mishmetal, which has a large amount of cerium. When ferrocerium is shaved with sufficient force, the shavings ignite to create a brief, intense source of heat. This heat, however, needs a longer lasting fuel source to create a sustainable fire. A 2.38 millimeter or 3.32 inch diameter ferrocerium rod can be inserted into the corkscrew of the Spartan. Also appears to work with Suiza and Leatherman corkscrews too. This is a very small diameter, 
So this ferrocerium rod is probably best recognized as an emergency fire starter. The rod is scored with a file. Because it's brittle, it will snap at the score line. A source of tinder to help start the fire can be made using common jute twine. Drawing a length of jute twine several times through some beeswax will make the twine longer burning as well as making it more manageable for twisting a length around the ferrocerium rod to form a tinder source. Unraveling the jute into fine fibers will greatly improve the likelihood of ignition from the ferrocerium rod. This most definitely requires some practice, so having at least one more ferrocerium rod available for that purpose is useful. This is also a good reminder to practice making some feather sticks because this jute tinder will not last very long. Bonus question. One of the best striking tools on a Swiss Army knife is the back of a saw blade. But what if you don't have a saw blade? What else do you have around you or possibly even in your pocket that might be a good striker? We've seen that beeswax and jute twine make a good tinder for fire starting. A jute knife lanyard could serve a multi-purpose role as a larger tinder source or as a usable source of twine if the lanyard could be easily disassembled. So let's look at the zipper sinnet as a possible solution. Drawing about 70 centimeters or two feet of jute twine several times through some beeswax. At the halfway point in the twine, make a loop. From the right length, make another loop and pass it from the back through the first loop. Tighten this to form a single loop. Using the left leg, create a loop and pass it from the front to the back through the prior loop. Tighten to form a single loop. Notice that this loop has tilted to the right. Using the right leg, create a loop and pass it from front to back through the prior loop. Again, tighten to form a single loop. Notice that this loop has tilted to the left. Repeat this process with the left leg. And this back and forth looping process continues until most of the twine is used. The final loop can be closed by simply passing the other leg through it. This leaves two legs that can be tied around the slip ring on the knife to complete the lanyard. This rather earthy looking lanyard can be quickly disassembled by untying the knot, pulling a leg through what was the last loop, and pulling apart the lanyard.
The challenge was to adapt a promotional Spartan for use in the woods using simple tools. This was an exercise encouraging adaptability. So finally, let's consider how this knife might be carried. How about adapting a flashlight belt sheath into a Spartan knife sheath? The last part of the science in the STEM deals with resilience. Resilience is developing using skills that manage challenges and stress in the best way. One way is by practicing positive coping skills, and several positive coping skills were used in overhauling the knife. Persistence encourages me to make change and build belief that I can reach my goal. Creating a reachable goal is a way to build a belief a challenge can be met. The steps then describe the actions that are needed to reach the goal. I create as many steps as needed so that I can see I'm making progress. If I see progress, then I'm likely to persist. Adaptability is the flexibility to meet a challenge. The cork screw was adapted to hold a fire starter. A straight pin was adapted to create a compass. A flashlight sheath became a knife sheath. Adaptability encourages problem solving. Problem solving builds personal resilience, confidence, and control. Bonus question. If your challenge was to adapt this knife, perhaps to some personal need, then who would you want to work with you and why? A social support system is two or more people working together in a trusting manner to solve a challenge. What skills or qualities would they have to turn this challenge into a successful experience? That's the power of a social support system. Look in the description for more information to include how best to adapt and use your knife. Ciao!